Hello my favorite people, I hope you are well. Today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me. I feel like I haven't actually like sat down and just had a little bit of a catch up with you all in quite a while. And I've got some new products that I actually wanna try out on camera. So we're gonna try out new makeup, catching up. And I asked you guys over on my Instagram, which I'll pop on the screen right now, if you wanna ask any questions. So what I'll do is I'll insert those questions here and there throughout the video whilst we have a catch up. All right, let's begin. Why did I just cheese you? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Anyway, right, let's go. <laughs> Quickly, just gonna prep my lids using P. Louise's base. I think I wanna start off with the eyes because I was sent this today in the post. This is through PR. This was kindly sent from Unicorn Cosmetics. I've actually been a fan of them ever since they first come around. I remember this style of eyelash here, Bubble Pop, is my absolute favorite from them. They do some really nice non-mink lashes. I don't personally buy mink lashes. Anyways, as I was saying, I was sent this Angel palette in the post. I'm gonna to open it up of course and give you a shot of all the colors inside so i feel like this is gonna be a really nice well-rounded palette and i just wanted to try it in this video i think i'm gonna go with purple eye yeah we're gonna go with purple eye <laughs> i really should plan this stuff off camera but hey ho that's that's the joys of getting ready with me do you know what i mean like if i'm actually gonna get ready unless i've set it out i don't know what i'm gonna do okay so i'm gonna get my first question up and this one says are you going to keep wearing your mask when the lockdown measures lift on the 19th now I'm gonna zoom you in to talk about it. <laughs> this purple shade is called Dagger, and I'm just gonna be taking that into the socket line using a Unicorn Cosmetics brush. So, will I be wearing my mask on the 19th? Me personally, I think I definitely still will be wearing it, especially in crowded places. For example, I'm in like a shopping center, I'm doing my food shopping, this kind of thing, then I will be wearing my mask. Just softening the edges a little bit. Taking the shade Romance, which is kind of like plum. Is that plum? What is that? <laughs> that one there. I'm gonna put that in the socket line a little bit. Back in with that purple shade. Blending those two nicely together with the brush that I used with the purple shade. Don't know if you guys are seeing, but that is really transitioning quite well. Darling is like the lightest lilac in the palette. And that's what I'm using to blend this out. Okay, so another question was, which I actually get asked this quite a lot, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already know the answer to this, but um, I think it's new followers who, you know, find my page or my channel and that kind of thing, and they ask this question. But um, this question says, have you had your teeth done? And if so, what have you had done to them? They look amazing. I mean, thank you so much for saying my teeth look amazing, because honestly, like, growing up, I hated my teeth. like hated my teeth so my two front teeth one would kind of overlap it was it kind of in front and would overlap like this i don't even have many photos of me with my original teeth because i got rid of them i hated them i remember i used to get dental floss and i'd go to sleep and i'd tie my teeth up and go in and out and in and out and i'd sit there and i'd just try and go to sleep pulling it or when i was watching tv i would even hope that my teeth would drop out so that i'd get my teeth replaced because I hated them that much. And basically I got rejected braces from the NHS when I was obviously a teenager because they said that because it was only the overlapping front teeth and it was more of a um, like cosmetic sort of thing, if that makes sense. It's not a necessity. My teeth can be fine with them overlapping. So they were saying if we wanted braces, then we'd have to pay for it. Growing up, we didn't have money. So even back then it was like over 2000 pounds. I think in total it was around 2000. 700 pounds or something like this just popped the p louise base onto the back of my hand i'm gonna grab a little brush now basically it got to a point that whenever i was laughing or i was talking i'm like ha, 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 and i'd always cover my mouth i wouldn't always smile in photos unless it was directly on because as soon as i was at the side my tooth would pop out more or this one would be behind more so i hated my side profile it just really really started to affect me and my mum could see that she put a down payment on to pay off the monthly braces and then towards the end my dad also paid towards it as well so both of them helped with it but of course if my mum didn't make that initial step then I wouldn't have had braces I think at 18 to 20 I think that was when I had it because I remember I'd go clubbing and I had braces and you can see I've just cut the inner part out. I always tend to go a little bit higher here because my eyes are hooded. So I need you to see the eyeshadows that I'm putting on. So naturally, me, my sister, and my mom have quite big teeth. And growing up, big teeth wasn't a thing. Whereas now, people will actually get veneers and people actually get bonding to make their teeth bigger. But growing up, if you had bigger teeth, 
it'd be called like a horse and stuff like this. Yeah, so I've only ever had braces and then I get my teeth whitened once a year at Carnaby Laser Clinic. I'll leave their link in the down bar. And then sometimes at home, I will use like whining strips and stuff like that if I feel like they need a little bit of a boost, you know? Just packing on that pink shade now. That's really pretty because it's kind of like a pearlescent pinky vibe. Then I'm going in with that darker shade that we used and I'm just bringing that around. I think I might put a little bit of green in this, you know? Putting a little bit of Utopia right in the center. I just want to create a smoky kind of wing here. Grab any black eyeshadow that you have at this point. Just work on getting that smoky wing. Check your way, check your way. Got to grab my biodegradable white. Yes, indeed. It looks mad, right? But because we smoked out that area, I'm going to lift that higher than I normally would. So now you can see just how smoky and lifted the wing looks. I kind of wish this was a bit more glittery, but if I wanted to, I could add a glitter on top. I wish the green popped that a little bit more, but that palette gave me zero fallout. The only fallout I did get was from the black eyeshadow, which actually wasn't even from that palette. Before I do my other eye, um, I'm gonna use these lashes. I've got like two different pairs in there, but the lashes I've been using are by Unicorn Lashes, and they are the foam mink ones in the style Flammy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the on and I'm going to do the other eye first off camera so you can see them and the full effects. I just feel like when you do your eye makeup, like lashes just bring everything together. Um, so yeah, I'm going to quickly pop those on and do the other eye off camera and I'll be back. Eyelashes are on. Honestly, I think these lashes are coming so close to taking the place of my bubble pop. And how much nicer does it look when you have like the lashes on? Do you know what I mean? Like lashes just bring everything together. Before I move on to the base, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna prep them basically. I'm not gonna fill them in right now, but I'm gonna prep them. And I'm gonna use the Refi Brow Pomade. They sent me a few of these over and I tried it the other day. And honestly, I was like, wow, this looks really good. It's kind of like soap brow vibes, but with not having to spray and do the soap kind of thing. It's a little bit more sticky, but it dries down, giving me soap brow vibes, if that makes sense. I don't know. But I love the fact that you got the brush covered up on this end because you can just twist it and then you got the product there. And I have to say, this is a really good product. So I do soap brows and sometimes I'll use the NYX... Um, brow glue i think it's called and i love that and i think it's great but i have not found anything that beats soap for me to give me that stuck in place stuck down not gonna budge eyebrows basically i feel like this is definitely you know changing my my view <gasps> um, <laughs> so anyways what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run that product sometimes i'll go through backwards first of all to pick up the product on the hair. I haven't had my eyebrows microbladed in over two years and I am still surprised I even have, you know, some microblading there. Just gonna brush those up into place. We use this side and brush all those hairs up. And what this does is it allows me to see certain parts of my eyebrows which are a little bit more sparse. So right there, a little bit there. Once I've got them in position, I'll just go all the way around and kind of just curve that a little bit. For now, we're just gonna leave them like that. Look at these that I bought. I don't know if you've been seeing this advert yet. I've been seeing these slides, right? Basically, they do a video and they're all like, oh, they're so soft and bendy. <laughs> oh, breathable, oh, cushy, lovely. So I kept seeing them everywhere. I even tweeted about them, saying anybody got them. And a few of you guys told me that other places sell them, blah, 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 and I bought them. I'm not the biggest fan of Crocs. Apparently they're really comfortable. I just don't like how they look. Like they're just not a bit of me. Um, no offense if you wear them, like that's your preference. But I've heard that they're super comfortable and I love a comfy shoe. So I saw these advertised all over social media for being like super comfortable and blah, blah, blah. And they're not as comfortable as I thought it was gonna be. I'm a little bit gutted, don't get me wrong. They look quite nice. So on. they've got like a thickness to them they kind of give me like yeezy dupe kind of vibes but obviously the toe doesn't curve in as much and they have this kind of texture to them they were not that expensive i think these were about 15 pounds which isn't bad but if you see these all over your timeline and you think they're going to be really soft like foamy shoes they're not the algorithm and the ads knew that i was watching that full advert like it knew and hopefully i'm not the only one who gets suckered into buying things with the adverts because i see them and then i want them and then i keep seeing it and then i buy it yes okay great thank you for joining my dead dog okay. i'm going to use the fenty blurring skin tint today and i'm shade 10 for those of you who want to know the cheeks i get so scared sometimes because the amount of times i've done a video and i've just gone and gone 
all on me. I'm gonna use a brush first of all, and then I'll go in my beauty sponge if needed. I find that this looks so gorgeous on the skin, right? And it adds such a nice amount of coverage. Like I did not expect a lot from a skin tint, but honestly, this is definitely up there, one of my favorite skin tints, and I've not even had it for like the longest time, you know? It's a fairly newish, kind of product i'm going to put a little bit more on that side you know i'll put a little bit more on this side so i've had a few questions about like long-term relationships and handling arguments so one of them is how do you and sean handle arguments and the other one is any tips or secrets on how to maintain the magic in a long-term relationship and honestly i could probably talk about this for absolute days and days and days maybe that's a video that i could do with Sean and get his perspective as a guy because obviously I can only talk from you know my point of view think as well when you are with any partner it's really important to know that you guys both want the same things in life and you're both on the same journey and what I mean by that is does your partner want one person for the rest of their life do they want to settle down are they okay with settling down at the age that they're at do they want to travel the world and be single? Or do they want children? Do you want children? What are your long-term goals? Because sometimes you can get into a relationship with someone and then their long-term goals do not align with yours and you're both working towards different things. But when it comes to like arguments and stuff, we don't really argue. And I know that sounds so bizarre because you're gonna be thinking like, come on, like everyone argues. The only thing that we'll do is like squaggle. We'll have like a little squaggle, if that makes sense. like. He'll do something that will agitate me and I'm like, why did you do that? Like, what the hell? So I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan concealer and I haven't used this one in a while, as you can see from how that is looking. When it comes to your partner, ideally you want them to be your best friend as well. And sometimes with arguments, you've got to think, what are we actually arguing over? Is this actually a serious thing right now or is this something petty? And when it comes to, you know, keeping the relationship alive as such, I definitely think communication is absolutely key. Like it is so important, like so important. If you're feeling a little bit upset of your partner or wish they did something a little bit more, or you know, you want a little bit of appreciation for something or you want a little bit of affection, whatever you want, you have to communicate to them. Your partner can't read your mind. So I think communication is super important and also make an effort. Just because you're comfortable with someone don't mean that you could be like, oh, I've got you now, that's it, love. Done, I ain't gonna be cracking on anymore. Like, <laughs> no, make time for each other. You're meant to be best friends. You know, that's your best friend, your soulmate, your lover, everything in one. And, ugh, lover sounded weird, didn't it? You're a lover. <laughs> Oh god, I'm actually so immature. Having fun together is what keeps your relationship absolutely alive. Me and Sean will be in the kitchen, putting pots and pans away, and then we'll start play fighting, jump out on one another. We are literally like two big kids. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is the Instant Look of Love palette. It's just got all these little eyeshadows and blushes and contour in it. And you can see this shade here is a setting powder. I think it's super important to have fun with one another around the nose and my laugh lines. I feel like this video is gonna be so long because all I'm doing is just chatting, chatting, chatting. But sometimes it's needed, you know? Like I said, I haven't done a sit down video in the longest time with you guys where I'm just chatting, talking, putting on makeup. Hopefully you feel like this is just you chilling with me like we're friends and we're just having a little chin wag, you know? I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Powder. I switched between this and the translucent because I can never really make my mind up. And we are going to run that right down there. Yeah. I'm just gonna go. Woo! Oh, look at that. Can you see that? That was perfect, tiny. Perfect. Along the laugh lines and up. Oh my god, please don't be a delivery man, please. Not for me. Oh, I've got to go like this. Flip. <laughs> He's just seeing me for this. <laughs> What can you do? Honestly, I remember once I had tape up here and when I tell you I had full B on, I look scary. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go and bronze the skin now. Oh no, I'm not because I didn't actually add a little bit of that, did I? Just gonna add a quick little line of that there. Nothing dramatic. For bronzers, I'm gonna be taking two products. This is the Becca Bondi Bronze. I heard that they were shutting down, but I'm pretty sure right now you can still get this. I believe you can. If you can, I will link it down below. And then this is new from NARS. This is, if I can hold it the right way around, the NARS Orgasm on the Beach Cheek Palette. And there's a little bronzer and blusher in there that I'm gonna use. And I've been using them as a combo. It looks really, really nice. I know that that question was quite long-winded on my behalf, but hopefully that kind of 
touched on it a little bit. As I said, it's something that I could genuinely talk about for absolute hours. Of course, being in a relationship from such a young age, you either grow together or you grow separately as people. And me and Sean are just very fortunate that we have grown together. So one of the questions is, do you get a lot of attention when you're out? You're stunning. That's really sweet. <laughs> Thank you. I was getting like really shy and I have to read out a compliment that like, someone has said to myself and I was like, oh, thank you. Oh, don't look at me. I don't even know if I want to answer that question. Because sometimes when you answer things, I feel like people take it as if you're being quite like big headed and stuff. I do get quite a lot of attention if I'm honest with you when I go out. Oh, that sounds so, ugh, like so flipping vain saying that out loud Ugh, i just i don't know i'm kind of cringing at myself right now but to answer your question yes how many times do you exercise per week and for how long so i have done previously weekly vlogs and i just took a little break from them just because obviously i was working on doing like instagram content and tiktok and stuff like this i love vlogging but um, i also love you know talking about makeup and fashion speaking of fashion i actually have a white fox boutique testing videos my first time i ever had anything from them and i really would appreciate if you guys go and check that out because basically when i uploaded that i forgot to add tags in the video and i don't know why i don't think that went into many people's sub boxes because the views are so much lower than than what they would normally would be so yeah it's a little bit sad because obviously that was actually in collaboration with them and i felt so happy about it and sometimes you can't help but feel a little bit gutted when it doesn't do as good so yeah i would absolutely love it if you can go and check that out that would be amazing i appreciate that um and so yeah, there's going to be a travel vlog coming soon because next week I'm actually going away. I'm a little bit nervous. I'll be vlogging everything. So in that video, I'll explain the whole situation and where we're going and how the traveling was. But when it comes to working out and stuff like this in my weekly vlogs, I basically said that, you know, I am on this journey to lose the weight that I put on during lockdown, which was seven pounds. Then I lost eight pounds and the gym, my gym has had to close recently, which is so annoying, right before my holiday. But it's not that deep, like it's really not a big deal. It is what it is. So I haven't actually been on it as much as I would be, but prior to the gym closing down, I was going to the gym, I'd say at least four times a week. And I would do at least half an hour to an hour every single time. And every day, every time I was going, it was changing. This is the NARS palette and I love this. And then this one, I actually mix these together for my blusher. So I'm gonna use this one for the bronze it's got such a nice glow to it so i'm just going right on top of that look at that color and then bringing that around tip of the nose and sometimes i'd go there and do my own workout with the weights and then sometimes i'd have cardio i was also doing a pt once a week and I've had to stop that recently just because obviously going away, the country I'm going to is actually on the green list, so I won't have to isolate. But when I get back, I will then start up doing the PT again because it was kind of like a circuit training, but also with a bit of boxing in there, which I really, really loved. And I'm gonna to mix together these two shades, make sure I tap that off. And then I'm just pressing that on like this. And then I'm bringing that up the cheekbone as well. They say that blush is one of the first things to look subtle and be like washed out on your face. So I have been putting a little bit more and honestly in photos and videos and everything, I can just notice it so much more and it really does make my cheeks pop. So I have been putting a little bit more than what I used to and yeah, it looks so good in photos. So definitely just go that little bit more. Give it a go. Shot Cora. I'm gonna be using my Dior Backstage Glow Palette that I absolutely rinse to death, yes I do. And in my recent Full Face Monthly Favourites video, which I love doing, um, I said about I use this pink shade as my highlighting shade right now on top of my blusher. Now as you can see, that NARS Orgasm Cheek Palette has already given me that sheen, but because I've got a little bit of a glossy purple eye, I'm gonna go in a little bit more. So I'm just gonna run this on there i'm gonna put a bit of that on the top of my lip as well my cupid bow and then i'm gonna use the bronzer shade and i'm just gonna go right above the brow right there i'm gonna do eyebrows now and i spoke about this once again in my full face of monthly favorites this has been a brow product that i've been reaching for non-stop and this is probably my third purchase of this i'd say third yeah, I'd say third. I'd say I, I kind of run out of this fairly quick, which is one of the downsides to this product. But this is the NYX Lift and Sculpt Brow Pen. I use the shade Ash Brown, if you're curious. Now I set those eyebrows in place, all I'll do is I'll just look at where it needs it. So like there, 
and I'll just run through. Okay, so you can see that I've drawn it on there. So what I'll do is I'll just go through with a little spoolie and soften that up. I'll go around and just lightly fill in anywhere that has a gap. And then that is the eyebrow complete. So I'm gonna quickly just do the other one now. And then I have this little mole here. I like to go over. These are the eyebrows complete. I mean, hopefully you guys like the results because I definitely do. This question says, I miss your videos, babes, back in like 2014. Would you ever upload them? Love you. I love you too. And thank you for sticking around that long, honestly. I'm using the shade Dagger, which is that first purple color. When I look back at those videos, Sounds silly, but I just feel a bit sad because when I look back at that girl, obviously it's me, but I mean, I just know that I wasn't in the greatest space at those times. I don't know if you guys get like this, like, you know when you weren't in the greatest space that you look back and you just don't feel happy looking at yourself because you remember the sort of mental state that you were in during that time. So instead of having them on there and getting like comments and stuff and looking back at the videos, I just kind of removed them. And then some of the old videos, I just kind of removed just because I didn't like them. I just thought the lighting wasn't the greatest. Obviously I didn't have the best sort of camera equipment compared to like what I do now. It's because a lot of these things have taken time of course to build up because they are hella pricey. When you first start out YouTube, like you're yourself, of course you are, but you're like an onion. You got all these different layers to you and of course you only show what you want to show but I just feel like as times progress I've definitely unraveled all those layers using that second shade that we used just on the outer corner so I'm going to use this pink for the inner tear duct area I'm just going to go like that in there and also a little bit here and honestly sometimes I look back at my videos and I think woof thank god I don't look like that now I'm going to use the max factor full slash effect and then another question at the top says do you want to go to Ibiza with me <laughs> Honestly, I love a party in time. Like I'm down for a party any day of the week. Like I am that friend that if you wanna go clubbing with all the time, I'll be that friend. I just love dancing. I love dancing, I love music, and I'm always down for a party, like 24 seven. This week I ordered myself a brand new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Gossip lip liner. Hot Gossip and Iconic Nude are my favorite lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury. I also ordered myself something from Mama Mitchell, um, the Made by Mitchell, because he brought out some new blushes, which I have, Peach Sugar, and I saw that he had one called something coral and I really really like the look of that so I ordered one of those and then I ordered myself one of his um, bronzers. So this part I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a voiceover with just because I struggle with doing that on my lips. And I'm gonna use this matte lipstick. This is actually Jamie Genevieve's matte lipstick when she had a collaboration with them. The other day our Mantis Kruger passed away. He did reach full adulthood. So basically, if you guys don't know, I actually have praying mantises. Well, me and Sean have praying mantises as pets and our orchid mantis, who we called Pika, um, she actually reached a year and then she sadly passed away. That's like a kind of maximum that they can live. Praying mantises, depending on the species, don't tend to live for that long. Whereas an orchid female mantis will live longer than a male one. I'll see if I've got like a little photo or something that I can put here and show you. And she was so beautiful and she was such a big size because she was a female, so she was that bit bigger. Whereas Kruger was smaller because obviously he's a male, but he's a ghost mantis. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with all the ins and outs of it, but when you have mantises as pets, you have to kind of expect them to not live for a very long time because that's just their life expectancy. When I get a house, me and Sean are gonna have so many pets. You guys are gonna think I'm living on a farm. That's how many pets I'm gonna have. Like I said, hun, layers, layers. I'm an onion. I like makeup and I like keeping prayer mantises. You know, I like to just throw something in there and just catch you off guard. You know what I mean? Right, okay, so I'm gonna sort my hair out and give you guys a final look. So on my hair, I use the GHG Rise. I used that earlier on before I come on camera. And basically, I just kind of like flick the ends. It just gives me like a little bit of movement. Um, so yeah, in case you're curious on what I used on my hair, it was the GHG Rise. And this is the makeup complete. I'm sorry that I didn't get to answer everybody's question. If you did send me a question, then thank you so much. Honestly, I'll try to answer many more. I do like Q and A's on Instagram anyway. I'll pop my Instagram on the screen. So if you don't follow me there, I'd love it if you did. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a close up as well of the makeup so you can see it for yourself and how it looks. Although the green part of the eyeshadow didn't show up, I think all the other colors blended amazingly well and I really, really do like that palette and I think I'm probably gonna take that one on holiday with me. Overall, I'm really, really happy with how the makeup come out. It's just a shame that I'm not actually going out anywhere now. Yay me. <laughs> 
stay in it. Oh, I love it. Oh, those great, great. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and it's just been something that you can just chill and watch. Maybe you're getting ready, you can play it in the background or you're chilling indoors. Whatever the situation is, I hope that you've just been able to enjoy this video and this little like chit chat with me. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me guys and I hope you're having a blessed day. Good week, good vibes, good energy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.